Hello, I'm Lizzie, and today I'm going to show you Ruby the Rabbit. Um, this is one of the four Build Up Buddy animals that we're showcasing, and uh, this is Ruby. She's absolutely gorgeous. So, this is like her accessory because you get the body separate. We'll talk about that in a second. So, Ruby has a little dress. Oh, let me show you this side because you'll be able to see perhaps the dress a little bit clearer. So, we're going to make Ruby and the dress all in one go. So in the actual die system as well you're getting half the dress, I'll show you how to do that, the carrot because she has an accessory which is the carrot and that's the carrot top, the little heart if you want to make a little heart nose or you could put it on the dress as a little accessory and you've got the rabbit ears as well. So this is Ruby the rabbit. Now we, when we look at what we've got on the table here, let's just pop that to one side, what you've got is the pre-made body. Now refer to the body making video, so that's the Builder Buddy um, body. So if you refer to that you'll see how we've got to this stage, okay? It's quite important that you see that and then we can go from there. So for Ruby, the next thing I need to do is to actually embroider her face. So I need to think about the features and where I'm going to put them. And following the picture on the actual packaging, which is just here, we can, we can kind of use our heat erasable pen and just copy the same. So I'm just sort of sketching on here where I think it should all go. So she's got lovely rosy cheeks, which we can do a little running stitch here. It's a little bit, little bit skews so let's just make that straighter <laughs> and then she's got like sleepy eyes and she's got I think she's got a few eyelashes here so we can do the same so this all can be back stitching this is back stitching and this will be a running stitch and so I shall embroider that face and we'll come back to see what that looks like so that's the next stage when I've done that I'll be cutting the ears now in the actual picture her ears are the outside of the colour of the body and the inside is patterned fabric. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all mine out of calico, but it's the same principle. So what you need is two pairs. So here we are, so these are already die cut. So we've got two pairs of ears. And what you'll do with these is that you'll stitch about a quarter of an inch all the way around round here, all round here, and right down to the bottom. And you'll leave that gap there for turning through. Now, we don't need to stuff these at all. You, you can if you want to, but we just use the fabric as a nice floppy rabbit ear, which I think is really lovely. The other part to the, to the set is the actual dress. So if I just move our ears out of the way, with the dress, you need to cut four rectangles that will take the die. So if I take the die off of the, the set there, so you're going to cut it on the fold as you normally do, and I'll show you that in just a second, but you need to have enough fabric to actually take the whole die folded. So in other words, let's, let's do it. So I've got four pieces here, so I'm happy to fold two of those in half and give that a nice crease and again the other two, there's two pieces there as well again just bring those to the middle and give that a nice crease and then you're going to pop those through your die cutting machine now you can use your junior or you can use the, the, the big size so if I just, let's just flip that around so it's the right way for us so that's how it goes onto your die cutting machine with these edges just slightly over the edge of your folds, I mean a millimetre, just hardly any at all. If, that, if when you cut and you haven't quite cut this bit, just snip that with the scissors. But you might want to tape that down and then run it through your die cutting machine. It'll easily cut the fall, um, actually it's eight layers, it'll easily cut the eight layers of fabric um, in the Gemini because these are multimedia dies. And then if you want to cut the carrot and all the bits and bobs then just go ahead and cut those and you can have that as an accessory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and cut my dress, I'm going to embroider my face, I'm going to stitch my ears 
and then come back to me for the next part. So now I've completed all the pieces, so I've embroidered the face, I've stitched the ears, turned one through, I'm going to show you how to cut the ears so we get less bulk, and I've also cut the dress as well. So if we have a look on the mat, so here is the head and you can see I've embroidered it. Just a simple back stitch and a running stitch here for the cheeks. Um, I've just made sure that it's nice and neat on the back because I'm using calico and this is something you may want to consider is to just try and keep your threads as neat as possible because they will show through the fabric. But um, anyway, so there is the embroidered face. So here are the ears. So this is the one that's already turned and ready to put onto the head. And this is the one, if you can see, I've stitched all the way around about a quarter of an inch. And this is now ready for turning. So to reduce the bulk, a really good idea is to use pinking shears. If you haven't got any, they're a really good investment. Takes the actual bulk of the fabric down but also allows you to turn your fabric in, in really sort of tight places with less fabric um, it, they just work fabulously for this sort of thing so be careful of your stitching obviously you don't want to cut through so just bear that in mind just follow the design of the pink and shears and just slot your shears into what you previously cut and then you'll get a nice finish so just get those little pieces out of the way. So this is ready for turning, which I'll do in just a second. Then with the dress, we've got four pieces now. So there's two here and there's two here. So the next stage is this. We're going to pin the ears onto the head base. We'll just do it on the front. I'll just move those pieces out of the way for the time being. And all you're going to do is position them where you want them to be on the head. So you've got to imagine um, how the ears are going to look. Um, they, they could do with a press. So I, th I think that would probably be about right. And then they're just going to flop over. I think that would look quite cute. So when you've decided where they're going to go, just flip them over that way and pop a pin in there. Now, um, my best tip is to actually stay stitch these in place. Um, and then you're going to stitch the head together. So we'll just turn this. Now, this is quite a tricky shape to, to turn. So I have got a bit of a gadget that I can use. So I can put this tube up here um, and speak to customer services for tools that you can use for turning um, very sort of narrow pieces. Um, you could also also put a thread inside there. It's another trick of mine to put a thread in there um, and also then you can turn through that way. So we'll just ease that, ease that up. You can see that it's, it's a little bit tight. If you're using something like felt, then you won't have this problem because you could actually do a running stitch all the way around the edge of the felt and you don't need to turn it. So you can see that was, was quite, an, quite a fairly easy thing to do. Um, and then you really need to give this a nice press, like I said. So again, we'll just finger press it for the time being. You might want to get that point a little bit better. Um, and then you're going to, again, pop that onto the head, get it as central as you can. And then pop a pin in there. So there's the ears in place. I think I'm fa fairly happy with that. So the next stage for me now would be to take this to my machine and I'm going to top stitch. Let me just get my pen and I'm going to top stitch those ears so I don't need to worry about pins when I'm stitching the two head pieces together. So I will just stitch around that bit there. Once I've done that, I'll take the pins out and I'll pop the other head right side down. There isn't a right side with calico, but right side down. And I'm going to stitch around here. So be careful of your ears. Can you see how the ears could easily get caught in the seam? So just be careful of those ears. And you're just going to stitch a quarter of an inch around and back to here. So you're leaving this bit open for stuffing and then we can put it onto the body. So that's the next stage. Okay, so we're just going to stitch from here, quarter of an inch all the way around, catching those ears to there. So that's the next bit I'll do in just a second. So with the dress, 
let's just take one piece because both pieces are the same is that you're going to stitch the armhole area neck and then down the other side of the armhole and you're also going to stitch across here now this has got to obviously be done right side together so let's do that now so we, we don't get confused now I suggest you stitch about one and a half inches from here so if we measure one and a half inches we can use our mat um, so about there so if you start from there and stitch all the way around and you're going to repeat this with the other two pieces here and again you're coming down about one and a half inches so again you can put it on your mat or you'll get your rulers out and measure it it's just a little over one and a half but I'm happy with that so this is where you start this is where you finish all the way around and then on the bottom you're going to stitch from here to here so all the way along here okay so around there and round there and you're joining those two pieces together you're doing the same for this bit as well so we'll do all of that and then we'll see how that looks so the next stage has been completed so we, if we have a look on my mat so what I've done is I've stitched around the head and made sure that I've caught the ears in the seam and I will have stayed stitched those to make sure I have so that just needs turning and stuffing so we can turn it now I can just get hold of the ears and pull that through poor little rabbit and um, once you gut stuff this all of the creases that you may have made with your fabric will easily come out so no bother at all so we'll just get those out get <laughs> there we go so just use your tool or your finger to get in there and just open that up just a little bit more there we go just do that there um, you don't need to press it and the stuffing will do the trick and then that's once stuffed that's ready then to put on the body you can see how the ears would just flop down <laughs> they're really cute and that will obviously then be put onto the head okay so here we are so this is the dress so um, what I've done is I've stitched all the way around like I said and I've stitched from there to there as I said this one this half the front half back half whichever they're both the same has been turned through and pressed ready to go um, so all we need to do is this one so you're literally just turning through and again get uh, whatever means you want knit needle is always useful this stage just to get those points out on the dress <clears throat> and then give it a nice press so what you're going to do then is to make sure that these side pieces but easier to see on this these side pieces are sticking out nicely and then you're going to put the two pieces together like that and you're going to stitch from there down to here okay and turn through zigzag the edges so they're nice and neat turn through and that's the dress made you then might want to hand stitch these onto the back of the dress when I say the back I mean the the, the the wrong side so if we if we were to flip that round and say that's the right side you're going to put those under there and just hand stitch those in place or you could even glue them to be honest and that dress is now ready to put on our rabbit so we've almost finished Ruby the rabbit so we have a look on the desk I've got the dress fully made up that's all good to go and I'm just going to hand stitch those ribbons on and I'm leaving these ends as as loose then all you need to do is to ladder stitch the head to the body and that just fits in there nicely and you're going to ladder stitch those two together then you're going to ladder stitch the arms in place either side of the body and then you're going to slip the dress on once you've slipped the dress on the body you can then take those straps to the back and hand stitch them in place and all is secure so that's Ruby the rabbit. I really hope you have fun making her and her beautiful dress. <laughs>